In the last video, we implemented default, which uh, lets us uh, just use this method here, default, and uh, then uh, it gives us this uh, this character. Uh, we uh, and we decided that we want uh, <clears throat> the default character to be named Billy, and have these uh, these attributes, and uh, that'll be uh, you know helpful for us because that is uh, that's what we want to see uh, the majority of the time. And uh, so now we're going to um, actually do something, you know, more interesting than, well, I guess default is interesting enough, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, the syntax is pretty, uh, pretty easy. Uh, so, uh, but now we're going to bring in something called the builder pattern. And this is uh, also not too, uh, not too hard, but it's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see how it works. And uh, so let's see, where are we? There we are. So we have uh, implement. Uh, yeah, we have the, the you know the function default. We have new. So we are creating some characters, and now we would like to um, to have the character say like uh, character default, and then start with that, and then maybe like change the height to you know 180. Um, you know, change whatever they want with these uh, <clears throat> with these methods uh, on top, and that's what uh, this uh, this pattern is about. And so the way uh, it works. So let's start with uh, start with height. And uh, what we do is uh, do this. So what um, one thing to notice here is that this is a, uh, a mute self. It's not a it's not a reference. It's not a mutable reference. So it's actually taking in self, and it's saying self is going to be mutable. Uh, so we can make changes here. And that is that's totally fine because if you're taking in self, you're you're taking in the whole thing. Uh, nobody can touch it. It's entirely yours, uh, and self now belongs to uh, to height. So nobody. It's like having your own, you know, buying a house, and the previous owner is not allowed to come to your house and say, you know, I I want to you know take a look at my house for for old times' sake. Uh, that's uh, that's not allowed. That's uh, illegal, and it's illegal in Rust too. So when you get um, so that's why the the word ownership is actually uh, it's quite nice. It, uh, it really describes that you know it's yours. Uh, nobody can touch it. So uh, so the, and then the user will input a height, and then uh, then you just say self height equals height, and then you return self. So you uh, you take ownership, and then you pass it on, and then you can do that with uh, with all the rest of them. You know we want to uh, wait. So uh, wait. That's also going to be a U32 because you can have negative weight. Uh, self dot weight equals weight, and you can see how uh, how easy these are to to write as long as you remember that you're taking in a mute self instead of a reference, a mutable reference to self, and you're returning self every time, so you can pass it on. <clears throat> so you have self name equals name and uh, this is a uh, string so we'll uh, turn it to a string and then self and then now you can uh, now you can you know take this uh, where was he so we have a character here and instead of just a character default we can say you know start with the default and change whatever you want so we would like to change the weight to 50 and change the name uh, we, we don't want uh, Billy we would like to be Bobby and you do that, and then we can uh, print out character one, and then you run, and it should be uh, there. You go a character with uh, with weight fifty. Um, name is uh, name is Bobby instead. So we have uh, successfully done that, and then uh, after that, um, the next thing to think about is um, you know this builder pattern is good for giving. Uh, Giving like end users uh, some control, but uh, but not too much control. And one problem here is that uh, you know default uh, it produces a nice uh, you know a character that is probably a nice fit for you know some some world we're making. Uh, whereas new is uh, it can be anything, and also these uh, these builder patterns can be anything. So uh, right now uh, the the you know, the user can say, okay, I want their weight to be this. Uh, also, U32 only goes up to, um, well, I don't know the exact number, but uh, I think this should be an overflow. So there you go. There's some uh, there's some weird things going on here. Um, 
you know, negatives. Uh, you know, the, na the name could be, uh, could be a really bad word, bad word, bad word. And, you know, we're not checking for that. And so, uh, uh, what you want to do at the end, uh, a lot of the time, is you have this uh, this function called build, and this is going to be the function that uh, that takes all the uh, all the parameters for for the type and then checks them, and then uh, instead of a, uh, a self, it's going to return a result, and that will control that uh, that the user can uh, can only uh, you know make types that are that are legitimate uh, OK types and uh, we're going to uh, that takes a bit of typing so we're going to do that in the next video.